Welcome, folks, to episode 15. And the reason we st I stopped uh, playing and started recording is that many of the turkey chicks are becoming adults. So I have to move them into the new nesting pens where they can start producing eggs and making more little baby chicks. So that is going to be a N for pin, or, yep, and let me get a, uh, straight turkey hen, straight turkey hen, gobbler, gobbler, and, yep, was that, was that working? Oh, uh, I, I think I pushed enter when I shouldn't have. There I go. And then go down here, and I again. And let's see. I, yep, there we go. And that will be, once again, a N. And... Hmm... Let's see if they actually put. Let's see. The, let's make sure that they actually put them in here. Those are forbidden. Those are forbidden. Okay. Now, other situations here. Now, as you know, I'm trying to get mechanisms to work the drawbridges. I need stone, but I found out that I could use um, metal. So I'm making a smelter. Why? Because the pigs came in cages. Some of the cages are metal. Mechanisms could be made out of weapons grade metal. And we have two copper cages. Now that means probably two copper mechanisms. And I need three. So that's probably not going to work. But I found somebody who... I found the, uh, the furnace operator. And I'm going to make her... Meltdown, oh, I think it's a him, excuse me. Meltdown the other cages before the copper cages to see if maybe increasing their skill will do something for me. Plan B is we're making hatch hatches, floor hatches for the ramps. I don't think that will stop anybody from getting through, especially a beast, but it, it might slow them down. Now I noticed also that Gopher was having issues. Um, where is Gopher? Gopher, Gopher. Gopher, 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 where are you? Let's do it the easy way. You see, Gopher is the expedition leader, and he's here to take, you know, to help people with their uh, issues and all that. So they cry on him a lot. He's getting resentful being cried on by unhappy citizen. He's felt he felt satisfied to conduct a meeting in a good setting. Uh, he's felt resentful being yelled at by unhappy citizen. So he's, uh, I, I've given him another job. Basically, he's going to be, well, I, I basically set up the hives. Uh, and I'm hoping that he will, he's going to be a beekeeper. I don't think that one's set up yet. But uh, this one's set up, and this one's not, but this one is set up. And I'm hoping this will be relaxing because nobody will scream at him. Now, I'm also going to, I think set up a uh, when we actually do get glass working I'm thinking about maybe something for his office I don't know if he can make glass statues I knew you can make clay statues but I don't know if you can make glass statues but we have a glass furnace so uh, keep those things burning please and glass furnace 
Well, we have to collect cl collect uh, sand first, and I think the order collects sand. I think they tried that already, and it didn't work. I already have a sand collection area. I think they need bags. Also, uh, I've the female hauler, the one who uh, I talked about making a spear dwarf. Uh, let's see. I think she's already become a spear dwarf. Um, yeah, I don't know. She might be in here someplace. There she is. Yeah, she's a competent spear dwarf. And I believe she's been given a spear. Wow, she wears a lot of... Okay, she got the helm. Earrings, rings, amulet. Well, she's a girl. Uh, mitten. S shield, spear. Okay. She needs some armor. Hmm. Badger bone helm. Oh, there it is. Well, that's a leather car. Oh, there's leather armor. Okay. And also, let's check out... Um, MM312? M312, where are you? That's the Fisher Dwarf whose wife was brutally murdered. Uh, well, not brutally murdered. The Werebeast ripped her apart, and then she was left to die. Bef nobody took her to the hospital. So let's see. He's... Uh, horrified relieved under a great deal of stress yeah he's not doing too well health wise no he's okay physically mentally that's something else and he's drinking but technically that's normal for a dwarf if he was sober that would be an issue so what I'm gonna do now is just uh, let them get on with their work and I'll come back when something actually happens, like maybe they've gotten the turkeys into the uh, pen or something, or they've started making the hatches, and I can start putting the hatch doors down. Um, I don't think we need a, the trade anymore. Yep. Anyway, he's gone to drink. So I'll see you guys when something happens. Okay, guys, the merchants will be leaving soon. I don't think the hatches that we set up, the floor hatches, are going to stop them in any way, shape, or form. And both our beehives have been set up, but I don't think there's any bees in them. Let's check. There are live honey bees in one, and live honey bees in the other. Good. We'll wait till they actually produce honey and wax, and then we'll do something about that. I think half the turkeys have been set up and the other half aren't. Many of them are becoming adults as we speak. So once the adult turkeys that have been assigned to the pens are in the pens, the other adult turkeys will be slaughtered. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they can't collect sand because they need bags. And I don't think anybody's making the bags. I did ask for somebody to make the bags. Ironically, the more people I have, the less jobs they seem to be able to do. I... I don't know if that's true in real life or not, but they're actually running out of barrels, even though they're set to automatically make barrels. Um, and the... Oh, right, okay. So I just want only one person to, to work this. That is SM319. The hauler. Everybody else? No. And that should be it right there. And I want you to melt down metal objects. And those metal objects shall be all the cages. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so I don't want you doing the copper yet, but let's melt down the nickel, zinc, zinc, tin, lead, lead, lead. We only have one copper cage. I thought we had more than one copper cage. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like the co other copper cages belong to the, um, all right, well. Looks like the other copper cages belong to the traders. Oh, well, I thought we had two of them. That pretty much destroys that plan. I'm going to have to wait till stone or they bring me more bars of metal. I do have some metal bars already, don't I? Uh, bars. Uh, yes and no. Uh, pig iron bars you can make steel with if you have enough pig iron bars and iron bars and coal, charcoal. But in itself, it can't, I don't think, be used as a weapon grade metal because it's not weapon grade. Excuse me, aluminum, I certainly not. So at best, without copper bar, if I make a copper bar, I could probably make a spear with it. Or a tiny little dagger. So, yeah, not, not good. All right, well, I'll be back when something interesting happens. Okay, it looks like the merchants have started off on their journey. I don't know how they're going to get back home, since as far as I know, they're going to have to take boats. But it says they're off on their journey. Uh, Azro Bang? Azro Bam? Azro Bam? Uh, is there any way for me to see that? Nope. Civilization, right? Yes. So we're right there. And there. Uh, over here somewhere, I guess? They have different cities here. I don't know where our... Wow, there's a whole bunch of different... Well, that's Elvish. I don't know where these guys... Uh, you know, I don't really know. It's all inaccessible. Oh, there's goblins up here, I think. Dark Elves Fortress. Dark Elven Fortress? Huh. Weird. Oh, the elves must be having a little war with them. Look up here. Hmm. So yeah, I don't know how they're getting here. Oh, it's humans. Oh, here's some dwarves. Sne squeezing syrups. And here we are. Hmm, yeah. So I don't know, really. News and rumors. No news and rumors. Civilizations. The Salted Standard. Okay, so the Salted Standard was on the mainland. Uh, there are mother site. So, yeah. And they're leaving now. The home, the, the mountain home. 
Does this remind you a little bit about Ant Farm? Or watching an Ant Farm? Or watching Ants because that was also a game I really enjoyed. Uh, I preferred Sim Life myself. I actually have that. Sim Earth and Sim Life. Alright, have you guys put the turkeys, the last of the turkeys in the other? No. And I had a lot of idlers earlier. Did I lock the doors on you? No? Did I lock these doors on you? No? Lock those doors? Yeah. I didn't lock those. Pigs don't go anywhere. Hmm. Whatever. Alright. Yes, you need an empty bag, and I've ordered them to make bags. The problem is, I'm not sure if anybody knows how to make a bag. There, yeah. Well, I told you to do that. Word furnace. Yeah, I don't think you guys are doing anything. Metal, metal smith. Tanner's shop, jeweler's shop, Mason. A kid there just playing with his toys, I think. Let's, whoops, keep on pushing the wrong buttons. Yeah, make believe. We have a lot of children in this fort. I am so happy none of them have been yet killed. Traumatized, yes. Killed. No. <laughs> that married guy who lost his wife, I should make him single, but they don't remarry. So, widowers don't remarry. And there goes the wagon, and it can get through at least three. So, yeah. Now, we're still building the walls, of course. As you can see. And it is raining on us. So, the walls are still being made, but first I have to make the floors, otherwise you can't make the walls. Yep, a whole bunch of widow, uh, willow. Let's go from the opposite direction. See, the problem with doing this is that now I have a whole bunch of guys who are going to be so busy carrying around logs that, um, they're not going to uh, change. They're not going to bring the turkeys up there into the pen. And I have a lot of adult turkeys now. I think all their turkeys are now adults. Yeah, you need a storage item. They basically run out of barrels. Even though, once again, it's on automatic. But, once again, there's so many people who are doing things that there's uh, not enough people for the jobs. Even though I now have... Uh, 78 population now. Nine of those are children. So that's actually 39. But. And four of those are fishermen. Twelve of those are farmers. Even though I only have two farming fields. Uh, yeah. I haven't started on the above ground farming yet. On the other hand, guys. Uh, this is all the stuff we could brew and cook. Vegetables, fruits, leaves. This is all the seeds, some of which we can cook. This is all the drinks. And this is all the meat, fish, and other tallow, uh, stuff like that. So, it is a lot of food. We have a lot of food. I don't think we're going to have to worry about food for quite a while. Whoops. Okay, well, that's going to be for our next exciting episode, which is not that exciting. Uh, episode 16, the n another group of migrants show up. Uh, that would be our fourth, no, fifth group of migrants. Why? This is not the richest fort I've ever built. This is not, well, exported wealth is still more than the imported wealth, which is probably good planning on my part. But... The point is, no. Why would anybody come here? 
They have Werebeast, and they survive on stew. Actually, let me check that, because I I want to see exactly what they're making. The drinks look good. I mean, beer, wine, ale, rum, what, cider. What more could you want? But uh, prepared meals, I'm going to say stew. Stew, 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 wine, hey, wine stew. When they sneak it in, milk stew. Red spinach leaf. I actually like spinach leaf. Uh, pecans, I like pecans. If they made pecan pie, that would be great, but I don't know about pecan. Beer stew, that sounds very Irish. Egg stew, sure. Goat. Prepare giant mountain goat kidney stew. Walnuts, okay. Wow, a lot of nuts and fish products here, isn't it? Oh, wow. Uh, we are living on weird food here, Brutes. Um, yeah, that's just weird. But uh, I guess some places must be really tough if they're coming here. I mean, we do have a tavern, library, museum. We do have an interfaith chapel. Uh, we do have a dining area. We do have a lot of bedrooms. Some of the beds are probably still available now that we had that third bedroom made. Um, yeah, I guess it is kind of a nice place to come. There's no armies coming down. There's no forgotten beasts because there's no mines. Um, yeah, I, yeah. You know, six of one, half dozen of the other. So, okay, guys, this is the end of episode 15. I uh, hope it wasn't too boring. If you ever played Dwarf Fortress, this actually isn't very boring. It's just kind of boring to watch, probably. You need the fire and dragons and death and destruction, but then sometimes that's not as, uh, as enjoyable for the player. I mean, the werewolf situation, not the werewolf, the were-kangaroo situation, was interesting but also frustrating in his own little way but never mind see you guys have a good day